Hello cookbook friends and welcome. Today we're going to look through the Fresh Milled Flour Bread Book. So it's kind of short, but it's nice because not all of us have a lot of space for these things. So you'll see there's actually quite a few photos in this cookbook and step-by-step -step photos. But one thing that is excellent about this cookbook generally are, you might be able to see this. Let me go back. Here we go. You see this QR code? That's pretty snazzy. Hopefully they don't, you know, their link doesn't expire, but that's really nice because if you do want to follow along with this cookbook, you can. So here we have our table of contents. We have different grain, um, exploration of corn, fresh flour, lofty goals, flatbreads, pizza. So let's look at this a little in a little more detail. Step by step photos right here. Um, they've been able to fit things in such a small space and I appreciate that. So here we have our uh, mixing, folding, and th those are all divided into different spots. We have, this is how to make whole wheat rye country sour sourdough, by the way. So then we have pre-shape, shaping, proofing. So a lot of steps going on here, but they really do break it down so it's kind of easy to follow and you're not totally lost. Plus, you can always go to that QR code. So we have country sourdough with spelt flour. I'm wondering if there might be gluten-free recipes in here, but probably not, just so you're aware. Half whole wheat boule with red fife. I apologize. I might be saying some of these totally wrong. So you can see here's our list of ingredients right there. Description of each bread and making process and a breakdown for everything. That's pretty snazzy. Multi-grain pan loaf. And it does have our yield right here, which is pretty snazzy. I'm wondering if it has a bake time. That would be kind of nice to have, too, in a baking cookbook. Unfortunately, I am not seeing that. Okay. We have an einkorn and rye pan loaf. Ooh. I don't know what an einkorn berry is. I've never had them. And another thing to be aware of, I'm just realizing, when you do look at the ingredients, you can see everything is done in grams. So there's no conversion chart or anything. So I, honestly, that's probably the best way to even to bake anyway, to measure everything out by weight. But um, if that's just not something that's available to you, this might not work for you as a cookbook. I love the actual, it says scalded jeroom sandwich bread, but I love this. I want to be able to do that one day. We have toasted corn meech or meche. Those look awesome. I'm wondering if this is gluten free because it's made with corn. That's awesome. And it looks, I mean, like I would have never guessed that's corn. It's kind of hard because a lot of these dishes look the same. I mean, it's all bread. Beautiful, beautiful bread. Sesame semolina. Beautiful. It looks so airy. Olive fresh herb and citrus zest buell with white wheat. I love this. I can't wait to start making bread uh, during fall. That's a goal of mine. I've never made bread from scratch, like truly, so I'm very excited about it. We have lard bread. Interesting. I'm sure it tastes really good. F Ooh, this is a giardineria. Oh, no. I am... So sorry, that sounds horrible, but it looks good. This is a Zatar flatbread. Beautiful. This says a Fugasi. Herb, olive oil, and sea salt. It looks like you can kind of put whatever ingredients you want to on these. Roasted corn, poblano, and jack cheese. Fugasi. It's a cool shape. Apple fennel. Let's move on a little bit further. We have a classic cheese pizza here. Moving on, pan pizza dough, soft honey sandwich bread. Ooh. I wonder if we have a bunch of different sweets on the end. Honey whole wheat bread sandwich bread. There's also croissants I just saw and step-by-step -step, uh, options here. That's really nice. I would not know where to start with that twice baked ham and cheese croissants so you can learn how to do the basic bread and then how to apply that bread and acknowledgements 
So it's kind of a short little cookbook, but I really like it. I think it's cute. I love the QR codes. I do need sometimes like an actual video to follow, especially something like a croissant. I know I'm not going to do as well. So check this one out if you are looking for more bread baking books, especially as we're, you know, heading towards fall and winter time. This is Fresh Milled Flour Bread Book. And if you are looking for something a little different, we do have other baking playlists. So definitely check those out. Keep watching. Find your for perfect cookbook and join us on our socials at Cookbook Divas. We'd love to see you there and our, our cook along group on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and following, subscribing, and for your continued support. We'll see you guys later.